If you believe, you will receive whatever you ask for in prayer. In this video, I'm going to break down how to create a belief within you through visualization, how to visualize correctly to make the shift happen, to actually learn to shift your identity, to change your concept of self, and to actually create a real belief that you already have something which was hidden in plain sight in these Bible verses, which I'm going to break down for you and give you an exercise on how you can create a solid belief within you. So the first question you got to ask yourself is how do I create a belief? A belief that I already have everything that I desire, whether that's a relationship, winning the lottery, getting a new car, or trying to create something to come into your life, something that you desire right now. How do I create that belief? I know how to do it, but how do I actually apply it? And what they don't tell you and what is hidden in plain sight is a belief is created from an experience. Once you experience something to be true, then you consent to that truth or that belief to be real in your world. So for example, if you, when you were a child, if your parents were really rich and they made lots of money very simply, and you witnessed this and you experienced this to be true, that they barely had to do anything to make millions and millions of dollars, it was very simple for them, then you would also have that belief and because you had experienced that to be true and you would consent to that to be true of your world. So you would be able to also make lots of money very simply to come to you in your world. So the trick to this now is just to create new experiences. And you do that through mastering the art of visualization. You can even use it through revision by going back into the past and recreating events in your past. And, and creating an entirely new past with through visualization or creating an event in the future that implies that you already have experienced something to be true of your world. Like if you wanted to say triple or quadruple your income, you would visualize a scene in the future as if it's happening to you now with all of your senses created within the visualization. You're hearing things, you're, you're tasting things, you're touching things, you're feeling things. Everything is involved. All of your senses are brought into this visual scene, visual scene and you're actually being congratulated on your success. Like your boss is telling you, I've given you a promotion. I'm so happy for you. You've done such a great job and you experience this to be true because a belief doesn't matter. You don't need to believe anything to be true of your world if you experience it, because a belief is subsumed within an experience. If you experience something to be true of your world, the belief is already, it doesn't matter if you believe it, because if you were to walk down the street right now and somebody handed you $10,000 in cash and they said, here, I just wanted to give you this money, and you experience that, you actually experience that with all of your senses in the three-dimensional world and it was real to you, it doesn't matter after you walk away whether you believe that happened or not. It doesn't matter whether you believe that happened or not. It did happen. You experienced that to happen. So essentially, all you have to do is create an experience like that, like you're walking down the street, someone decides to give you $10,000 in cash in the three-dimensional world. You experience that. What did you feel? All of your senses were involved in that. And when you can create a visual scene as real as the three-dimensional world, just as it happened, you don't need to believe it. You're experiencing it in your imagination. And the imagination is the real world because the world is you pushed out from your imagination. It's a simulation that you're living in. And when you can create a visual scene as real as the three-dimensional world with all of your senses involved in it, which I'm gonna give you a technique on on how you can do this to master it very simply, but when you experience something in your imagination to be as real as a three-dimensional world, you will experience it to be true. Then it has to happen just as much as something that happened to you in the three-dimensional world has to happen to you the following day. If you won the lottery today and you experienced that to happen, tomorrow the money would be there. And if you think that you have some sort of a condition where you think that you can't visualize, I'm going to give you a test right now because you can absolutely visualize. Everyone can absolutely visualize. I don't care if there was some condition that someone labeled it and said that you can't visualize because if I were to ask you what a pink elephant looks like, you're going to picture that in your mind. I don't care who you are out there watching this video right now. You say you have some condition where you can't visualize. So if I were to say, what, is your, what, do your, what does your mom look like? What does your dad look like? What does a Ferrari look like? 
What does Paris look like? You're going to imagine something in your mind as soon as I ask the question. That way you would be able to tell me because you have a memory, a picture memory of this person that I'm asking you to, to tell me what they look like, like a pink elephant. You're, you just imagine a pink elephant. Everyone watching this video, don't imagine a pink elephant. You just imagined a pink elephant. I promise you that you did, whether whatever condition that you had. The only reason that you think that you can't visualize is because you're not consciously present of what you're imagining. You're not able to see that. You have to slow your mind down, slow your thoughts down in meditation so that way you can consciously use your imagination. Because if you think that you can't visualize, that's not true. Each and every one of you can. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to remember what you did yesterday. Because if I ask you to, to tell me something you did yesterday, you're going to use your imagination to do that. Because imagination is the real world. Nothing exists outside of imagination. This is a hologram. So if I were to ask you any question, you're going to use your imagination in order to tell me. And that's also going to create things for the future as well that are going to come to you. But the best way to learn how to visualize and to master the art of visualization is to, is to create a scene like a, a scene that you are very familiar with now, like inside your apartment or inside your house or your condo, wherever you're living now, walk around, say, in your kitchen and look around and study some things. Be very present in the moment. What does your kitchen look like? And then go sit down, take a seat and visualize yourself just walking around, touching things in your kitchen. You know, don't bring in any of the sounds yet or, or really just bring in the visuals of it and how it would feel to touch things. So bring in one sense at a time each time you go in and then create like a sound. You hear the sound of the refrigerator and then you can hear that. Then you bring that sense and then what does it smell like? Then bring that sense in and then keep walking yourself through the scene, bringing one sense in at a time. And as you develop this skill, you will soon find that you create a very real experience, okay? You wanna create the real experience in your imagination because as we stated so many times and so did Neville Goddard, the imagination is the real world. And when you can create a visual scene as real as the three-dimensional world in your imagination, then it has to happen to you. Then you no longer have to believe anything. And then you can master the art of prayer believing that you have received something and then you will have it. Because you visualize something that you want to have. You visualize a scene in the future. Make it now as if it's already happened. And then it'll happen because you experience it to happen. The same way you would in the three. There's no difference between an experience in your imagination as being concrete and real. As it happening in your three-dimensional world. So mastering the art of visualization is the, is the key to all manifestation and creating anything you want to come into your life. And even through affirmations and scripting, all that's essentially doing is changing your inner dialogue because it all begins with the inner dialogue and then goes, then your imagination then pictures something from the affirmation. So if I were to say, I am, I am a super successful entrepreneur making $100 million a year, my mind's going to picture something, my imagination's automatically going to picture something related to that me being this person. So if I keep repeating that, repeating that, then the picture gets clearer and clearer and clearer in the mind. Then it's also um, unintentionally visualizing myself to be this person unless there's some sort of blocks. But with visualization, you're going right to the imagination yourself. You're not, you're not, you're, you're bypassing, you know, the, the, the inner talking, you're going straight to the imagination and you're, and you're basically molding it like an artist. You're creating this mental picture and this imaginal movie of your experience of the future of you of you being the person that you want to be and imagining and being congratulated on that and creating this just a, this powerful imaginal picture and bypassing the inner dialogue by going straight to that. that's why visualization is key to master if you visualize correctly you can manifest anything you want to come into your life very very quickly as you master it and as you move forward i mean anything is possible to a certain degree with with visualization but as you master it you'll start to see that and you'll start to believe in yourself a little bit more be more confident be more focused be more disciplined it just changes your entire identity once you learn to develop your visualization skills so you'll start to attract a lot of things just by developing this part of your mind as well but i've also i've also created many guided visualizations that can also assist you on your visualization skills and i'm going to put one on the screen for you now a card on the screen a free guided visualization that will train you on creating a feeling state it will also bring great things into your life and shift your identity but learning how to visualize correctly it will teach you exactly how to do that so click on that card on the screen 
and it will teach you exactly how to do that. That's the end of this video. I love you guys, and I will see you in the next one. Don't forget to be one thing you are grateful for, and I will see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.